All right, thanks for checking out this video. This is going to be a kind of a troubleshooting video to figure, you know, if you want to try to figure out if your unit's the issue on this on a Parmac fence charger or well, we could really use these troubleshooting things for any of them, any brand really. Um, but this would be some quick little things to, to test and try and make sure you're it's not the unit versus the fence or the ground or whatever. So I'll just do a few little uh, tests with you over the this video. Uh, we do a lot of these things um, via phone calls and emails, but I figured maybe we make a video of it, maybe it helps somebody out versus having to call us um, so they can figure out if your unit's got the issue or it's your fence and ground or something like that. So there's our information right there. You can get a hold of us. Uh, we work on about every brand you can think of, electric fence wise. All right, so uh, this is gonna be on a Parmac SE5, but you could use this for any of the digital readout ones of the Parmacs, or even if you wanna look at the older like SE3s and Mark VI, Mark V units that were that had the needle gauge on there. This will work on any of those, uh, tell if it's your unit or not. All right, so when like on this one, it shows a number and it clicks. If you um, walk out, to your barn or whatever here it clicking you walk out there and it shows a lot lower number which we can simulate that we're going to hook up a load to it to simulate some kind of heavy stress between the fence and ground and watch the number fall so we're going to go across here fence to ground see we got dragged down to around five five point eight five point six so if you walk out there one day and you're reading over ten then you're usually pretty good to know that your fence is probably okay. But the lower the number falls, the worse the shorts are on your fence, typically. So if you go out there next day or I don't know, a month later or whatever, and it shows a lot lower number like this does, or even lower, like, well, shoot, is it my fence charger got an issue or does is it my fence issue? So the quick thing to do before you start running your fence, looking for a problem there when it may not have a problem, is you know unplug the unit. So turn it off, loosen the knobs up, and pull off both the fence and the ground, and then turn it back on. If the number stays down low, or you know, low like that, or lower, or whatever, uh, then you okay, fence charge got the issue. If um, it goes way up high after you unhook everything, usually it means your 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 fence is the issue. So because these numbers will change on the fly. So if if it stays up nice and high with nothing on it hook it up and it drops down typically means uh the fence has got the issue if it stays down low with nothing hooked up to it then you know okay this has got an issue because it should be about 12 13 or higher maybe 16 uh on the high side but this is just kind of a gimmicky number so don't always put a lot of faith in this thing Fifteen thousand volts not putting out that much that's just kind of a it's like a kind of a quick glance thing you walk over there and see that shows a high number you're fine you know lower number and okay got issues somewhere okay now one other uh thing you can do on these um to to know for certain it's not the it's not the fence or it's not your charger if you do both those tests i did earlier where it's if um uh, nothing's hooked up to it and it shows high um the one test you can do i don't want the manufacturers call this but i call it the ground fault test and that's that's kind of a, a hard test to do, or I don't, it's um it's uh, hard on the transformer, but if the transformer is good, it won't won't phase it. So basically, what you do is you hook up just the ground side, you know, ground system up to the unit, but, but no fence, just the ground side, and you turn it back on. If the numbers by the, by say you know it's by itself showing 15, also hook up just the ground, and that numbers drop way down or it goes to zero or whatever you know okay my unit's definitely got a problem on the inside for certain but if you hook up just the ground only no fence and numbers stay up high the charger's fine no, nothing's wrong with it so so you can do these kind of tests i mean don't worry about the number too much uh when you go to do these tests i mean it is kind of a quick glancing but there's not very many brands that have numbers on them they have like a row of lights or whatever so Kind of use those um, if you've got a fence tester that's the best thing to use if you got an electric fence tester you don't have to be this style it can be a digital one or a flash and light one basically you'll if say the in any brand you uh, go to your 
plug-in or battery or solar, first thing you want to do is just unhook everything and turn it off. Or turn it off and unhook it, whatever. And then turn it back on and put your tester right across the terminals and see if you read, you know, 6,000 volts or higher. If it goes up nice and high, which this, this meter's really having issues lately, so don't worry too much about my meter. But, yeah, you know, see, it's all jigging around there. Yeah, this meter's about shot. But if you read good voltage on your terminal, so you don't have a number like a display like this, but you got a flashing light only, you put your tester on there and it shows if it's one of those five light testers, and normally say you go all the way to the top, maybe six, seven, eight thousand volts or so. It's all the way near the top, then you know, okay, my tester's fine and my my charger's fine. But if you put your tester on there and you get nothing out of it, whether you have the physical light type tester or if you got a digital fence tester if it doesn't show any numbers at all or no lights at all on the tester and it's not clicking this unit the unit's not clicking then you know darn well the unit's got the problem but if you unhook everything power back on put your tester across there it shows good numbers typically means your unit's fine but then hook up just the ground side to a unit only no fence just the ground side and plug it back in or turn it back on however you got to turn it on and then retest your charger and then see if it stays up high or if it drops way out. So that's a, that's a quick and dirty way of how to test it. I mean, the best thing is have a good fence tester. Don't get one of them, honestly, don't get one of them stupid little cheapo flashing light testers. Those things are hard to see sometimes, especially out in the sun. You get bad glare. You got to cover them up to kind of halfway look at them. So I personally like a digital one. That's what we use in the field when we do uh, fence here at our place but this tester was really good at one time but it's um having some issues right now so yeah it's about shot and everything but um well you know that's a quick and dirty of it if you got any need any help or whatever i mean we do work on these things if you got a broken fence charger or electric fencer or fence energizer whatever you're going to call these things they're all the same to me but if you got one needs worked on um don't hesitate to call us and and ask us some questions or if you just want to box up and ship it here just box up and ship it here but anyways we will talk to you guys later and uh subscribe to the channel hit that thumbs up button and uh, we'll see you guys later on